Hey YouTubers, welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician. Today we're going to be going back into the Harbor Freight website and checking out the new tools that they've released. If you guys follow the channel, you guys know that I do these videos every couple of weeks and we just discuss some of the more interesting tools. I'll show you basically everything on the list, but we're not going to go into detail on each one. And then I would like you guys to also share your thoughts on these items as well, or if you've already purchased them, because some of them have been available to the public within the last week or two, so they may have gotten some use. And then if you guys don't know the Harbor Freight website, when you click on the new tools section, the further you go down the list, the older the items get. So we're gonna start at the top, which is going to be the newest items, and we're gonna continue down the list until we get to where we ended the last video. So I really hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. First up, we have this Luminar, Luminar Outdoor 66 foot string light installation kit basically what you're getting is uh, some wire that is coated and you're getting some rings and hooks and things like that and this is basically to attach or mount on like a fence or your house or some poles and you can take your string lights and you can attach your lights to this wire um, very basic kit it's twenty dollars not a whole lot of people I'm sure are <laughs> interested in seeing that in this video but it is very affordable I actually have lights uh, but I just use standard wire and uh, it worked really well so that is available at Harbor Freight now then they have the new Hercules 20 volt cordless 7 inch variable speed rotary polisher and sander this is the tool only for $110 they now have a few options at Harbor Freight as far as cordless and corded polishers here are just a few that you can see there. This one at $110 isn't terrible. Uh, not the best price, but not horrible. The Milwaukee one at $280, definitely a, a better price than that. But quality, you know, if you run the Hercules lineup and you've been happy with it, uh, maybe this is a good addition to your lineup. Here's just a little bit of information on it. If you guys would like to pause and take a look at that. It does have the five-year limited warranty on the tool and three-year limited warranty on any batteries but keep in mind this is the tool only so there's the rest of the information on that then we have a 6 by 48 inch belt sander and disc sander combination so this is a $300 tool from central machinery this would not be a bad tool to own I don't have much experience with the central machinery stuff but $300 isn't terrible this is a larger unit. They have a lot of smaller ones available at Harbor Freight as well. This has a one horsepower motor. And here are just some of the other ones available. You got your smaller ones like what you see here from Bauer. This is a 4x36 with a 6 inch disc sander. And the one we're looking at is a 6x48 and then a 9 inch disc sander. And then you can see they have a few other ones there as well. But this one out of all of them is the most expensive but is also the largest one. And then here's just a little bit of information on that. Then we have a one and one eighth inch hex dust extraction attachment for breaker hammers, like you see here. I'm not even gonna lie, I didn't even know that Hercules had this available. This has either been out a while longer than um, I've been doing these videos, or uh, I just did not see it come up. But they do have that extraction. They've released a couple different uh, extraction attachments in the last month or two so pretty nice to see that because it does definitely help especially if you're working in an enclosed area and not just with this type of tool there's the information on it pretty basic item here for fifty dollars then we just have a couple items from grants detailing stuff you got some microfiber towels both at seven dollars here you have some smaller uh thinner this is going to be a 12 pack and then you got your larger drying towel here then the Armstrong 38 watt dual port PD fast charger for $15. You got USB and USB-C. Then Hercules has released a 15 amp 12 and a half inch portable thickness planer. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, the thoughts are in the near future after this has been out a little while, but it does have two ratings so far, a four star rating and a five star rating. See if it's something that people enjoy for the price. The price is $400. So not terrible as far as these uh, planers go. They can get quite expensive. Here's the Bauer one at 369 and there's the information on it if you guys are interested in that. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this. If you guys do a lot of woodwork and stuff and you guys use a planer, what are your thoughts on this item? Would this be good for DIYers, Weekend Warriors, or is this something that you would even use as a hobbyist that maybe even, you know, 
does a decent amount of uh, possibly selling woodwork and stuff like that. And then you got the knives for the planer. Then you got a Pittsburgh eight ton long ram hydraulic jack. They've released a few of these in the last couple months as well. I'd probably say close to 10 of them. So I'm not sure. Um, I know they've had these in the past, so this could be an expansion onto what they already have, or this could be a re-release, maybe a upgraded design where they've basically, you know, done something in order to catch back up with inflation of pricing. Uh, then they have the master brake caliper set from Icon now. This is going to be $60, so still not priced too bad. Not the, the best set in the world, but it's pretty versatile still, especially for weekend warriors, DIYers. If you have a specific brand of vehicle and you have something like this, having something like this on hand is going to be extremely uh, handy just so you don't have to worry about going and loaning the tool every time you do a brake job on it or anything like that. Uh, and it's still priced pretty decently. You get a, do a lot of different attachments here. You have a right hand and left hand thread. And then it does state that the case comes apart to fit in most drawers. The only thing that I don't like is the top is literally just a few of the discs. Everything else is in the bottom. So I feel like this top piece is just taking up a lot of space. There are five of them up there, as you can see there. Um, I just feel like if I separated that, I would take those five discs and lay them somewhere in the bottom. So I'm not taking up a bunch of space with that. But uh, overall, I think it's a pretty decent price for the set because of the size. Here you're getting the Maddox one for $48. This is an 11 piece. So this one's a little bit more versatile than that. Much nicer than your just basic piston compressor there. And it's only, you know, basically $10, $12 more than the Maddox set. And then here's the information on that. Then they've basically just released a couple of air horn. They got this style over here. And then they have the trumpet car horns these are basically like us there's ebay specials all over amazon as well i think you know like six speed i used to have horns just like this they were okay at best i got them because i needed them in order to pass and get my registration and stuff when i lived in texas so i installed these and then recently i've switched those out because i wanted something that was less obnoxious and then they've released some Roundover router bits, a four-piece set for $20 from Bauer. And then they have the Daytona jack stand pads now, which is really nice. I actually just bought some um, of the aluminum jack stands from Harbor Freight because I'm tired of lugging around all of my jack stands and my heavy jack, so I picked up the aluminum jack and jack stands for my new garage flooring. And I also ordered some rubber pads for those as well but it is nice to see that they are offering that for these jack stands now which is nice so you don't have to damage the bottom of the vehicle or scratch it or anything like that closer up look of them there's the basic information on this basic item but it is nine dollars so priced pretty dang well so there have actually been a few of these released at harbor freight for the last year or two and I don't know if this is just an updated version again or if this is a new addition to the lineup, but I know they have a few others available at Harbor Freight, but there's a little bit of information on it. Most places I go, you know, offer f free tire mounting and balancing, but I mean, there are definitely those in, in certain situations where this may be handy to have uh, and obviously much more price friendly compared to buying an electronic version of this tool so and it's much easier than doing it strictly by hand so it's definitely an option but uh yeah i believe that's the last item on the list i know we definitely went over these in the last harbor freight new tools video so that's where we're going to end off the video i really hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please make sure to smash that thumbs up leave a comment down below of your guys thoughts on some of these new items and as always if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys next time